that's good, I guess. <laughs> What do you do, D? The thing is, I don't want to like crawl because I don't know. I yeah. won't be able to see anything. Fair. So I don't know if that's a good like thing to do. Um, that is fair. That is. I'm fair. actually at a loss. For what I um to do. You can hold. You can hold your action to pull. If someone like tugs twice or something, whatever you want the like, <laughs> signal. Like, signal, yeah. But like, how would um? Do you know, I mean, like, yeah. Uh, if they were to tug twice, but I mean, just felt like one tug. Um. Well, he's saying when it gets called in, not right now, but later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. If there's some kind of indication. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think they won't be able to hear me in that storm, will they? You'd have to be really fucking loud. <laughs> uh, I will say Amber does come up to you. I have an idea. Um, I'm gonna need that rope. What's your idea? Uh, the um, hand it over to Amber. She looks between Kebab and Lady Bellwether, goes over to Lady Bellwether and ushers her over. And she ties the rope to like the saddle of Lady Bellwether. Be right back. Lady Bellwether goes, oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> she goes over to Kasai, begins talking to Kasai, and then she goes over here and ties herself to the other end. Amber's plan will come to fruition at count zero. I think you guys might be able to figure out what she's doing. Is it just have the horse, horse run one doing? way and drag her in? Yeah. Correct! <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb, I love it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, this this guy's down here now. Did yeah, you also jump watching. out the window? Duh. Of course. Actually, wait, no, he would totally be trash-talking, but also encouraging <laughs> Amber right now. <laughs> you, you know it's gonna fucking kill you. I know. <laughs> wait, no, won't. I'm gonna live. <laughs> You're having character though. Anyways, so you had like that is like all of like handing over an item to Amber. You still have the rest of your turn. Mm -hmm. Or you could chill. Oh, Fred typing. <laughs> Oh God! Thing, I, I didn't tell, I didn't tell Fred any of this. So. <laughs> I want to keep it a little secret. Amber's heroics um, <laughs> is quite inspiring. Uh, Roguish bravado. Yeah. D is going to. Um. And her turn. Very well. Silas. Okay. Um, I just started stretching. I was going to check the distance on something. Um, but in the meantime... No, they've got that covered. Um, I guess my question is, is can I... Can Silas change the tune to try and get the same effect? Uh, and thusly roll again and such. Certainly. All right. Let me pull it up here. Performance. Performance. Pre a bit better. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh. Keeping it at a nice one zo. Very I good. I can disable Very... it. That's all I came out here to do. <laughs> you can prevent <laughs> it from becoming immensely worse. <laughs> Perfect. 
Um, I talk about these, these two. They would totally be out here by now. Let's see. Yeah, this this, this isn't exactly quiet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, I've got more than enough space. That's fine. Um, if anyone's curious, if, if no one else... If, if, if her plan comes to fruition, and she does end up getting fucked on the other side, I have mass healing word that can reach 60 feet, but there are lots of healers around and, and such, so I'm not terribly worried, but... Um, I'm assuming that takes my action. Correct. Um, I don't really have anything I can do as a bonus. So. Mm. That's it. Very well. Alessander, uh, what do all the acrobatics? Oh, no, use unusual confidence. Okay, so you actually land on your feet, so you don't, like, roll and hit the ground or anything like that, unless you wanted to. Um, but yeah, you 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 have access to the rope. You've grabbed onto it. <laughs> you could see the golden rope light, like fucking lasso of truth, Wonder Woman shit, uh, and Oriana. <laughs> um, I just do that. What the hell? Well, uh, you the are right. closer to the thing now, and you had a nat twenty earlier, so you sort of knew the presence of this like center c- centeroid area. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and it's a lot more obvious, invisible now. I mean, you already knew it was there, but even more so yeah. now. Alright, um, so I'm going to uh, just take the f- five foot step to close distance. Make my gun save. Do it with advantage, because you got the rope. Oh, thank you. I don't know I went Italian for a second. Oh no! The, the Lord Seeker be showing up. Also, I just realized this is the same <laughs> rope that uh, that uh, Amber's gonna use, so this will be in very, very, very interesting. You're using it to hold on, yep. and then he shoots off in one direction, like, what the fuck? And he, get hit from uh, he can off, grab so. both of you and Sajar, in theory, I don't know. Alright, what's the damage? Luckily, it hasn't escalated. The storm has not increased in uh, category type. Good, good, good. 27 damage. That's uh, so 22. Yes, with 10 Yep. Yes, yes, yes. yes how, how, you, how are you looking, buddy? He's looking fine. Well, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but player me can know. <laughs> uh, not bloody. We have a spicy scale for um, this. All right, uh, so I have closed distance. Um, now, what happened with the sword? Uh, it is tied off currently. It is mm-hmm. in its own little hollow spheroid. So what you saw before of it being like covered in sand is true. Mm-hmm. It's just that there's a gap between. So okay, here maybe do like a better visual indication of it. Freehand. So imagine the sword is thusly. I made a cross. There is not a perfect sphere, but like an orb-ish like zone around it, like an egg. Mm-hmm. And this gap here is. There's not no no sand whipping around it. It's not a wide gap. It's not like seven foot gap. No, it's like less than a foot, maybe a foot at tops. And then there's a bunch of sand that's sort of layered around it. That's what you saw again, like an item in the beach. And what did Oriana do with it? She uh, entered into it and then tied a rope. This. Oh yeah, I guess I should probably move this one. You can't change the the, the rope. Yeah. Like you can't move the end of it, which I find very dumb. I can fucking do that in my goddamn geo service in my work, so it should be able to do it here. <laughs> so yeah, the the rope is tied around this sword. Gotcha. Say the cross guard of it because that's the most logical place to tie tie a knot. Uh so that's that. And then, what's the? You said there's like a sort of loose gathering as well, or was that what the sword was? No, so the loose gathering of like sand and stuff like that that you believe is is you're sort of in him right now. Oh, nice. <laughs> exactly where I want to be. Um, because if it pushes out and fades, <laughs> it pushes out and fades as he loses himself. But you guys have kept him pretty comprised so far. He's still on tier one. So he is in like a centralized five foot, maybe six foot, seven foot like area. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I try to wrap my arms around it and move it, can I? Or is it totally intangible? Oh, like the... Potentially. Alright, I would like try to do that. So let's see here. This would be uh, a charisma based thing. Cri- <laughs> it is <laughs> it is your force and pres- <clears throat> force of presence ag- interacting with his not against necessarily, but alongside his force of presence. Uh charisma based uh, athletics? Oh, that's a good question. 
Yeah, yeah. So I guess I get to. I think it would be athletics to just sort of grapple him in a way. <clears throat> so, like, really of, think about it. So, I'll roll in athletics. I'm not proficient in that, but right. Um, it would be charisma. Charisma. Base, add my dex. So dex. This would be plus seven. Correct. Instead of a plus one. So I guess add six to whatever this is. Okay. Um, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> Could I have a bardic on this? Is that possible? Uh, is it yeah. Possible? You didn't give him a bardic. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Magic. Well, well it's, it, is how, it? Does, how do bardics work? I'll never tell. <laughs> Maybe it can work. Regardless, you didn't do your bonus action. Yeah, don't have one. So, uh, wait, did did Nina not, not say she gives me one? But it was just after the fact. That was previously. Yeah, I said if I could, um, I'd give you a bardic. Oh, but it was. Oh, we didn't see diamond. Okay. Well, it was after my well, turn. Just, uh, so bad. Yeah, okay. one more. <laughs> <laughs> you try. You really do try, but just you're just unable name. to find any purchase, if you want to call it that. You definitely feel resistance, so like it is, like maybe not like it's, like, it's only twenty percent effectual or whatever, but you know you know it is like the, the the opportunity is there. Yeah, I'll try my next turn. So that's your action. You start your bonus if you have, want to do anything with that. Um, I don't have anything uh, to use my bonus action. Um. Just looking through my features. No, I think that's I think that's it. That's all I have. Okay. All right. So uh, we hit initiative count zero. So Sandstorm does kick back up to a two category, and Amber's plan is going to uh, rock. Uh, let's see what happens. So step one: animal handling from Kasai. <laughs> step one. <laughs> It's advantage because she's been helping Lady Bellwether and you know she was taking out and stuff holes. like that. That's that's a that's a oof ouchie. That's that's a oof ouchie. That's not oh not the goodness. best. I mean, she can Please. commute. She could literally talk to animals. So that's not the question here. Mm. But it definitely does not give advantage to what Amber's stupid stun is going to be. She's like, "Please, for the man we both love." <laughs> <Do this. laughs> she does have a pocket advantage still. Still? Cause, like, I actually, yeah, you know, I read it. I read it uh, over this past week. It recharges on short rest. So, and there have been so many opportunities for her to steal advantages from people during this like entire party. So she's probably just constantly doing that, or just giving up her own. She can't give up her own to do it. It's better. It's not right. a seventeen. It's better. Not the best though. It'll work. But it passes the DC, right? Zoop. Right. I guess we're right that, <laughs> that way. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> you can't. She's like right next to you guys now. Yeah, she just gets sucked in. <laughs> uh, let, me make a, let me make a con save for her. Do, do I get. Do I take one fire damage from the rope burn as I'm holding on to this? <laughs> <laughs> um. You are, you are gloves. I took him off. Wait, no, why would I take him off? <laughs> like, you tell him, I don't remember wearing gloves in that. She takes 14. That's, that's pretty good, actually, for 2D it's for 40 10. End. It's on the lower end. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not bad. So she so you guys hear the sounds of a, well, I guess I guess you guys in the storm note here. The rest of you guys hear the sounds of a storm right. To those of you inside, uh you to outside you feel the rope suddenly going whizzing through your hand. Oh. And uh Oriana, you but you hear that yelp, I guess. And you hear <laughs> like you can sort of feel it with her blind sense that this rope is moving very intensely, and then both of you can detect an amber right next to you. <laughs> well, not next to you, next to you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's ra it is wrapped around her like different parts of her body. So right. like her uh, her so shoulders, her legs. Exactly, like some Attack on Titan shit. Yeah, remember, Amber does have, like, a decent intelligence, so... Yeah, she's not an idiot. Uh, she's gotta get, get that Alchemist capability, baby! Although, well, my, I might revisit that. Moving on. So I to see Amber. if this was her intended plan? We're on set. Uh, where, where the fuck is it? Uh, this isn't important, so I'm not gonna spend a Kensai die on it. 14? 14. 14. 
What's her I'll passive deception? She has a plus 10. <laughs> so... <laughs> I just rolled it. All according to Kikaku. <laughs> Kikaku means plan. Kikaku means plan. Oh my god. <laughs> and she has a pot of green with her too. What does that do? <laughs> it allows her to drop two cards and put them directly into her hand. What are, how are cards useful here? Well, we'll find out later. Varric be like, how are cards useful here? Oh wait, no, I never showed off the part about Varric yet. Oh, we get to it later. So yeah, uh, Oriana, it is your turn. You have this uh, blade enwrapped via rope, a uh, apparently impervious rope. For the oh, my bad. my bad. Make a con save. My bad. Uh, I can I can toss one of those down. Uh, it is it is a straight roll. All right. How much damage? Luckily, these things haven't escalated yet, so and that's so much fucking damage. It's above average, but not immensely. So, because the one and the ten counteract, and so like you're really only getting the differential between the five and the nine as the delta of uh, from variants. Uh, so yeah, twenty five damage. Uh, she is, she, uh, she is holding on by a prayer. Um, I did, I did put this in chat, but I didn't hear an answer. I imagine healing potions won't work in here, right? I didn't answer because I don't, I don't need to answer. Drink whatever you want to find out. <laughs> I don't want to fuck around and find out. <laughs> Alchemist supplies if you have that. Uh, Amber. <laughs> uh, it's it's just like. It's such a safe bet that I'm not even going to try, and also the only one I would want to use is a superior, and I don't want to waste a superior. <laughs> um, okay. She wants to try and use... I remember in the past, it was described that Oriana and Sajar, when they interact with, like, weapons, are similar but different in the form of Oriana yeah. tries to make... Or he, he enforces his will upon the weapon, where she does kind of the mm -hmm. opposite. So, she's... I guess trying to, I don't know, adapt to what he's, I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to describe. She wants to use her weapon to try and contact basically his weapon and him and use her staff as an anchoring point for him. Okay. Going through. Like, I would say it would take a bonus account. action and a key point because it's like it's a weapon channel. Same rule as like a channeling through to your staff. That's sure. like a precedent. Make me a wisdom check. I can make... Oh, do it with proficiency. Super and you're trying to be his uh, spell save, DC. Slash R, 1D, 20, plus 3, plus prof. Can I throw Four. a inside die on this? That's it, yeah. I think it's a very plus fitting time for it. The eights don't suck. Thank God. Holy shit, I'm Without that Kensei die? die? <laughs> Literally without that Kensei die, you would have <laughs> fucking failed. Which I think, so narratively, that makes sense. Yes. Absolutely. Like it's less it's less that you're it's less like a knowledge of how this all works versus you just it's like it's like giving a soldier a gun, alright? They don't need to know the physics of how a bullet works, they just need to know that you pull the trigger and something dies at the other side of your aimed right. You are in connection to this shock core greatsword weapon. Mm -hmm. And you are filled with an immense not necessarily that you're embodying it, but you are filled with this insight of immense amounts of rage. Rage, I guess technically greed, but not necessarily in a monetary way. I guess it would be more equivocal to like losing a strategic asset or like losing a very valuable piece in a game of chess, like this, like annoyance. I think the thought process goes through her head of is this what Scavola feels like <laughs> when we went through the fucking twins? <laughs> Just thought I would share that thought, anyways. Um. God, how does she... She wants to go through that to try and find Sajar. I would say you do begin detecting Sajar around you in this okay. cloud of sand that you guys are... Oh, <laughs> not not the sandstorm itself, but like this like... Yeah, I actually do this. And then they probably make it a bit, a bit more visually distinct. Um, we'll use orange. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. This is Sajar it... Vortex. Uh, it's a, okay. It's a bullseye. <laughs> basically uh okay she is not going to be what's known as conscious uh for much longer at this rate so i don't think she's gonna be able to like pierce through all that but can she try to she wants to try and attach like her weapon to the shock core so it won't 
like fucking disappear the second like she tries to leave this place, so that Sajar can have an anchor to pull back to. Like a like oh, a much more physical one. I don't know if it okay. would magically be connected, if it would physically be connected. I'll leave that up to you on how you want to interpret that. Because I feel like it could be either one. Yeah. It's like, we got rope. Make me the same roll you just did. Yeah. The, this one. Don't suck? I would say you do oh. get a d4 on top of it as well. Of guidance. Four. Nope, that's... Such... Okay. And what was the staff before? It was a plus two staff? Oh, let me find out real quick. Or a plus one. It was Probably. only a plus one. The only plus two weapons I have are my punches. Okay, so there would be plus one on top of this. So it would be 30, was it 36? 36. Okay. Okay. You begin channeling your own capabilities into this pushing through those intense feelings of anger, rage, annoyance, and loss. And not instilling as, like, Sejar does, but aligning your weapon to his. Mm -hmm. A shared sense of purpose, if you want to call it that. And as you begin doing so, the area around you, this, like, cloud area, uh, well, I say cloud, these concentrations of sand begin pulling around this uh i was gonna say spheroid i guess it is a spheroid this barrier around the sword and the barrier begins shrinking in terms of distance to the blade itself to, until it basically is like touching like a like a covering of on the blade itself and it begins pulling from tip to grip off of it and as the sand condenses towards the top of this blade, the sand that's been concentrating around you guys, that's been pulling deeper to the center of the sandstorm, begins meeting it, and then you guys begin seeing the form of Sajar. Let's fucking go. So he is there. He is still not lost, or he is not still present. He's still lost to the world. Um, The golden rope is still wrapped around the sword mm -hmm. and you guys have pretty good passive perceptions he no longer has any scales oh. he looks like a like a fucking normie human he's just a broke bitch what a fucking loser <laughs> <laughs> actually you know what let him be human. by the sandstorm actually we don't want this one <laughs> put him back i do find it actually i actually do love this narrative though who are the f look at everyone that's saving him? You're all human, normal human. Human supremacy, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Well, actually, well, no, uh, normal uh, and very lacking think, in magic. Uh, keep in yeah, keep in mind the law, like the impact of this. What did you all three humans do? You decide to run at the problem and solve it brute force manner and say fuck you to the powers that be. Yeah. It's a very human approach. The m absolutely human approach. I love that narrative theme. I, I love that. The storm does lessen as this happens, by the way. It doesn't go away. I would say uh, it I would say it lessens even to like only 10 feet instead of 15. Ooh, okay. So as a... You guys, are, you guys are still in it, <laughs> but... Yeah. yeah. But that's like an out of game thing. Does it seem like we could probably back off at this point, or does he still need help? He's still in he he is player. he the blade is remember the tips poked into the ground. He's like kneeling with his hand on it, like it's like a knight doing like a like a reverential oaf. Mm -hmm. So he's definitely not conscious, but he's still in this position. Okay. Uh. Do I have any action commonly left, or is my whole shit done? Uh, I think that would be your your bonus was to channel. Yeah. The action was to use the channel. Yeah, so that'd be your whole thing. Yeah, that's fair. That, that totally makes sense. Um, I don't know if she can piss off and get out of this place. If she goes unconscious, she goes unconscious. She's she's good. <laughs> Alrighty, Deet. Um. So I did miss a few things my sister was talking. Is Sajar able to like be able to like uh, pull himself out now or 
He ain't, doesn't look like he's getting up anytime soon. Okay. Yeah, here's the thing. For us desiccated, the three people in the Sandstorm are right now, he looks fine. I mean, he looks like he normally does, which is a general sense of desiccation as a Fajara native, so... Needs a bit you know. of water. He, do he looks better than all of you. Yeah. Well, okay, my bad. Amber's only been here for, like, one round. But still. There is an impact. How is, um... How's the rope doing? Oh, that's good yeah, you actually. you examine the rope, like the one that's been outside the whole time versus the part that's been in there. It's definitely a lot more frayed. 